Okay, so maybe I haven't uploaded in a while. Yeah. So, I wanted to do a little channel update because I know that you content gremlins are probably very hungry right now. Yes, I know that was a Michael Reeves thing, but, you know, sue me. Anyways, um, so I figured I'd do kind of a sort of unboxing of some stuff I recently bought because I'm working on a robotics project for my new company, um, that I made, and I'm thinking about making a robot arm and automation products, so, you know, I bought some stuff. Also, leftovers I can use for your robot ideas, if they're good enough. So, you know, most of the stuff has been opened already, but I kind of reboxed it as authentically as possible. Because, and it actually is pretty close to what it was, because as it turns out, you know, a Chinese 15-year-old packing boxes in a factory is pretty similar to an American 15-year-old packing boxes. They pack pretty much the same way. Anyways, well, actually not a Chinese. It'd be a weird... Okay, we're getting off topic here. No, no political... <clears throat> no, that stays off this channel. Anyway, so, um... Starting off here, we got a uh, servos. Five of them, nine gram servos. They come with all the little... Here, I got one open here. Come with all the little various attachments. You know, you can put a freaking starfish or a circle or... I, I don't really know. You could do a, a, a robot piss dog like Michael Reeves. There's the servo itself. Good. Yeah, so I bought five of these. I bought all this from Slamazon. A uh, little tip. Um, if you're getting started in this, um, if you're getting started on robotics and stuff, and this is from experience, and uh, by experience I mean looking at my bank statement and thinking, huh, I think I paid a little too much for these robot parts, but, you know. <clears throat> it made me feel a little more broke. Anyways, so, um, the thing is, is, uh, unless it's totally critical, like you need it there in, you know, five days or something, you don't need to use Amazon, use AliExpress or something. And honestly, AliExpress is not that sketchy, as a matter of fact eBay has stolen my debit card every time I've used it, and this is probably not a good idea to do, but I do it anyways because, you know, I don't have a credit card. Um, AliExpress has never stolen my credit card or my debit card once, ever, in like five or ten orders. Not once. It's actually safer than eBay. I... I Crap you not. I don't know how that works, but anyways. So, um, anyways, but their, and their stuff is way cheaper, and just, it seems to be the same stuff you find on the, on Slamazon and eBay. It's just cheaper, and it arrives in, you know, maybe a month, but unless it's critical, you don't really need it that fast anyways. So, that's a little tip. A little word of note there. And it's the exact same stuff. Most Amazon resellers just buy stuff off Ali, AliExpress or Alibaba. Same company. But um, they buy stuff off those sites and then just resell it. So next thing I got is a crap ton of wire. By wire, I mean I got like a 20-pin ribbon cable. Quite a bit of it. And uh, I bought... Everything here I bought from Amazon um, in this box, I believe. So, yeah, everything here is from Amazon. So, you know, do know with all of these things, you can buy them cheaper on Alibaba. 
I don't know all the prices for them right on Alibaba, but you would probably have the common sense to find them yourself. If not, just let me know. Maybe I can do a video kind of going over where I get parts from or things like that. I'm planning on doing some stuff like that. Next thing, we're going to look at some servos. And I do have some videos uh, coming up in the future, by the way, because I want to do like an update video right now. Got servo, or not servos. Did I say servos? I don't know if I did. Um, I got a servo drivers. And again, these are already kind of open. 16 servos off one of these. Freaking nuts. So you got the little, you know, fiddle around with low, high voltage. Um, then plug it into the Arduino there. You got a little cap there for goodness knows what reason. Maybe just storing a charge, something you need. Oh wait, that's what capacitors do, they store a charge. Yeah, it does, they store a charge. Uh. Got this. It's, it's uh, I speak a little bit of Chinese. I take Mandarin class, which has helped me so much that I can say this is a don't understand, don't understand, Dian, that means electric. Uh, let's think here. That's G, which is machine. So electric machine, don't understand, don't understand, don't understand. And then uh, don't understand, and I think that's how, meaning maybe like date of manufacture or something. That's three years worth of Mandarin for you. It's uh, three years worth of Mandarin for you, kids. Really helped me out. Anyway, take Spanish instead or French. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to take Spanish. Well, I have taken Spanish. I mean, because, you know, elementary school. But I don't know how it is to speak baguette. I mean, French. Um, so, yeah, I got this. And this was like 22 bucks, And I got it with... Here, I'll move it out. I got it with a stepper motor. Yeah, it actually came... Yeah, it came with this. So, it came in this box with a stepper motor. I had bought it with. So came, this came in here. And then you got mounting hardware. And uh, they even include wrenches, that's nice of them. They gave you mounting hardware for like one motor mount. And then a NEMA 17 with the four pins on there, and with the four wire deal, or the well, actually, this is a this is a four wire one, but it can have more. I think, you know, plain old NEMA seventeen. So that was twenty two bucks. This plus that motor and stuff was twenty two bucks. I think for like twenty bucks, you can buy three NEMA seventeens on AliExpress, and I want to say for like five dollars, including shipping, which of course will take a month, but it still gets there. You can buy like one of these. Uh, you know, 10, you can do like $20, get three or four of these with shipping included off of like AliExpress or whatever. So that's the way to go. And I got two more stepper motors with cables. Again, on Amazon. And you can get these for, you know, a dime a dozen on Chinese sites. And eventually someday I hope that we don't have to buy from China everything. I mean, nothing against China, but... You know, they kind of are a... Ah, wait, political rhubarb again. But still, you know, as a American, I, you know, it's not something I really love giving Mao money. But I will give it to them that the ones that are in, you know, Hong Kong and stuff that are actually doing this are generally pretty nice people. I mean, I know from having many different Chinese teachers, for example, uh, Chinese teachers, for some reason, it seems like they swap around a lot. Well, not some reason. I think it's because a lot of them, they have, like, visas that expire really quick and stuff like that. But every last one of them I met has been really just nice. 
just really nice. I'm not kidding. I don't know what it is, but they're just nice people. So, anyways, I got two of these motors. That's off. That was kind of off topic. The whole thing about Chinese people, but you know, good job, guys. You're very nice. You're very just nice people to be around. I mean it. Um, so yeah, I got two of these stepper motors with uh, cables. They're totally white label things. So I assume that the guy at Slamazon, you know, Jeff Bezos' uploaded conference just ordered two of these from Mouse, Big Rock Candy Mountain, you know, a month and a half ago and uh, didn't bother to slap a label on them or any marketing wank and just threw them in a box, shipped them to me and charged me probably too much. Here's the next thing. Which... Kind of excited about using. I've never used these before, but um, here I'll just throw one out. Arduino Nano. I'll have to solder it together partially, but you know, I got five of them for like ten dollars on Slamazon, and if you can get them like five for ten on Slamazon, you can get them dime a dozen on Alibaba. You, you best bet that you can get them for that price. So the next thing I got is, and sorry about that little uh, hiccup, I had to deal with less considered family members that just, you know, think, yeah, an unlocked door, you know, even though it's shut, and he said, I'm filming a video, um, that just means walk on in and start demanding things. So, you know annoying but whatever gotta live with them for a little while until i turn 18 um so yeah i got these jsk connectors you find them a lot in like consumer electronics cool you know it's, they're kind of cool and i bought them i finally figured out what they're called they're called jst connectors i assume j stands for japanese because that's usually what the j stands for when it's electronics um basically you take these little doodads you take wires, and then you put them in these connectors, which are just plastic pieces, but you put the crimp, these little crimp things with wires in them into here, crimp them down, and then you can solder these onto a board or just connect them up, however, these pins, and then they just snap together like that. And a common factory trick is... Um, you know, you put these on a board and that's how you make mass produce electronics when you need to plug together components. You just have any old idiot plug in this nine, you know, this nine pin thing, whatever, or this nine pin thing, you know, that's all you need. And if you need multiple of these, it's a, it's a very masterful, masterful art. What you do, it's, it's very, you got to be very careful how you mark them, but basically you take this, you draw a dick in black, uh, black Sharpie marker. You draw a ding dong right there. Then you draw a black Sharpie marker ding dong right here, right? So this goes on one part of the circuit board. Then this one, which is also the exact same size, but you also need this one that's separate. You draw a green ding dong on this one then a green ding dong on the right connector and yeah so it's not that hard to discern but you know that's kind of later in the stage of making robots or whatever i don't know i've got them so now i have those they're called jst connectors so remember that Then I got um, a Michael Reeves Classic, 40 laser diodes, so I can laser people in the eye, um, or just, I don't know, laser things. Got these off Slamazon for 10 bucks. I'm sure you could get them cheaper from China, actually, but even $10 for 40 of these things, 40 laser pointers, wow, that's like 40 3D printed rip -off. 
Alrighty, and last but not least, but we have a um, we bought a uh, key reset emergency stop. You press it down, and then you can only release it when it's a key or when you insert the key and turn it. It's just a kind of 22 millimeter panel mount deal. You can switch out switches and do all that. Sorry, I'm making this video a bit short, and sorry about all the cuts in it because my phone loves to run out of storage, and probably if I get more subs or i don't know views or anything i i might actually buy like a proper camera with an sd card so i can not have random cuts in my video and use up all my phone storage so if you like this video and uh, want to see more like it you know you want to see more videos like this uh, i mean vi well video is more exciting than this making stuff doing things all that engineering stuff uh remember to like subscribe comment do all that youtube channel poo poo boost engagement or whatever anyways uh i'm still working on my own original uh outro statement so i'm just gonna go with the one used by arduino versus evil keep your dick in a vice